kids and welcome back to another episode of bible stories with rosie thank you so much for tuning in and we're not gonna waste time today last episode we learned about joseph and how his brothers sold him to egypt and we learned that after a very long time he would be able to see his brothers again i am curious to know after how many years down the line or after how long was he able to reunite with his brothers and how did this happen how did they react when they saw each other you know and so this is our last story in the book of genesis and in the next episode we will be moving on to the book of exodus kids i want you to pay attention i want you to listen because my goodness this story is mind-blowing because who knew that after a long time after selling their own brother they would be able to see him again and how how did it happen right so i want you to be quiet i want you to pay attention and here comes the story our story today is called god's plan and it comes from the book of genesis chapter 41 Joseph was 30 years old when he began serving as the king of Egypt and he left the king's court and traveled through all the land of Egypt. During the seven good years, the crops in the land grew well. Joseph stored much grain as much as the sand of the seashore. He stored so much grain that he could not measure it. Jacob learned that there was grain in the land of Egypt. So he said to his sons, Why are you just sitting here looking at each other? I have heard that there is grain in Egypt. Go down there and buy grain for us to eat. Then we will live and not die. So ten of Joseph's brothers went down to buy grain from Egypt. Joseph was the governor of Egypt. He was the one who sold the grain to people who came to buy it. So Joseph's brother came to him. They bowed face down on the ground before him. When Joseph saw his brothers, he knew who they were, but they did not know who Joseph was. But he acted as if he didn't know them. So he asked unkindly, where do you come from? They answered, We have come from the land of Canaan to buy food. He said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? But the brothers could not answer him because they were very afraid of him. So Joseph said to them, Come close to me. So the brothers came close to him and he said to them, I am your brother Joseph. You sold me as a slave, as a slave in Egypt. Now, don't be worried. Don't be angry at yourselves because you sold me here. God sent me here ahead of you to save people's lives. Today's adventure. Have you ever done something wrong and knew that you were going to be in trouble if you got caught? That is exactly what happened to Joseph's brothers. They treated Joseph so badly, and they knew that if the father found out, they were going to be in so much trouble. So they were scared and they lied about what they had done. But the truth always comes out no matter how long it takes. The people were very hungry because it had stopped raining and the food was not growing in the fields. So Joseph's brothers traveled all the way to Egypt to find food and they went to an important man to try and get the grain but they did not know that the man was their brother Joseph's brothers didn't even recognize him but Joseph recognized them he said come close so you can see me better so you can hear me better I am your brother can you imagine how those brothers must have felt when they, real, when they realized that they were talking to Joseph? Would Joseph be mad? 
Would he hurt them because of what they had done to him? Would he tell their dad? I'm sure that was what was running in their mind. But Joseph trusted God and knew that he had a plan. Even when bad things happened, Joseph told his brothers and he forgave them. So thank you so much for tuning in today. That was an amazing, amazing story. It was such a beautiful ending that even after all this time of, you know, thinking that they sold their brother and now maybe he's a slave or maybe he died i wonder if they were still even thinking about him but in the back of their minds they knew what they had done even though they didn't tell their father thank you so much that brings us to the end of the bible story today this is bible stories with rosie god bless you and i will see you on the next one bye